almost forgot. I meant to show you the fun part here. So we've uploaded a number of different files. So let's just have a look inside. Of course, if I go down from tools to my SQL Lite SQL Server Compact Toolbox, then here I can come over, have a look at our database, and let's have a look at what we have. So here's uploaded files, okay? And what do we see? We see the six files we've uploaded. Here are the MIME types, okay, and the file names, right? And, uh, no, nah, this is interesting, discriminator. So these are all doctor document, okay? That's the type of object being stored in uploaded file, right? And, of course, we have our... A doctor ID, foreign key. So these are the actual IDs of the doctor that the document, so to speak, belongs to. Patient ID is no, because none of these are uh, patient documents, right? They're all doctor documents. Okay, so we don't see the actual content in here, which is why pulling this data from the database and having it to show file names and so on is very, very fast. If, on the other hand, we wanted to, we can have a look in here, but... Um, I'll warn you right now, the file content, if I try to do the same thing, edit top 200 rows, okay? Don't worry about these red circles. I'll explain that in a second. You see, all we have is the file content ID, and this corresponds to the ID of the uploaded file, right? And, of course, here's the actual content. So what it's doing is it's actually trying to display <laughs> uh, in some way or other the actual content, the byte array that's stored there. So this one's an image, right? Uh, that's an image, that's an image, and uh, let's see, number five, it's trying to show number five to some degree. That's an OPNG image as well, right? Yeah, actually, it is a showing it. <laughs> it's just that it happens to be, that's, that is the actual image, that red circle, right? So number three, four, and six, the reason you're just getting a red X here is it's not able, it's just that the little viewer tool here is not able to actually display the byte array. So that's why it has just these X's, right? It's storing it properly because we can download those files. It's just this tool can't actually show you anything, right? It can for images. Because remember, the actual data type it's using inside of SQLite is simply called image. So that's why we can't see the actual uh, data. But it's there. And see, it's working with a discriminator, so we can start adding patient documents if we wanted to. It would all go into the one file. Neat, eh?